back with the hoodie. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys five basic glute slash leg exercises that you should be doing. We're getting rid of all the frills and we're going back to the basics. They're all compound movements which are tried and true. You don't need any machines or any cables or anything like that. At least four of these exercises you've definitely seen before, so it's not gonna be anything new. It's just more like a refresher. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the bell notification that will let you know when I post a new video. All right, let's get into the video. All right guys, so I'm gonna talk you through each exercise and I'm only going to give three tips to each just to keep things nice and simple so it's easy to follow along. First off is the hip thrust. This is meant to be the queen of all glute building exercises. You wanna find a comfortable position on a bench with a bench just below your shoulder blades and you wanna move your feet in such that at the top of the movement, your knee makes a 90 degree angle. You're going to turn your feet out quite a bit and then you're going to push through your heels and the sides of your foot, turning your knees out and squeezing your glutes all the way to the top, contracting your glutes fully at the top. Next up is the barbell back squat. For this one, you want to take a stance with your feet as wide as comfortably possible with your toes turned outwards. And then you want to descend as deep into the squat as you can. For some people, that's going to be deeper than other people. For me, it tends to be parallel, maybe just below if I am very feeling very flexible that day. And then on the way up, you're going to use your glutes to force your knees to rotate outwards. This is a really important step. This will engage your glutes and keep your torso upright and really help you lift yourself out of the squat. The third exercise I'm gonna show you guys is the RDL or the Romanian deadlift. I talked about this one a lot in my hamstrings video, my most recent one. I'll link that in the description below. Um, but I'm just gonna give you guys three quick tips for this one. So for this one, you just wanna take a shoulder width stance. Your feet don't have to be particularly pointed outwards, just slightly outwards is fine. And then you want to break at the hips, hinging backwards all of the movement should be at your hip joint. You should allow your knees to bend slightly, lower the weight so that you're gonna feel a nice stretch in your hamstring. Then you're going to use your hamstrings to lift the weight all the way to the top, but you don't want to lock your glutes out at the top. If you stop a little bit short from full lockout, you should be able to contract your hamstrings at the very top and prevent your glutes from taking over. The fourth exercise I'm going to show you is a split squat. I've said before, but I think it's absolutely necessary to do a unilateral leg movement in every leg workout. So for the split squat, I think a really great tip is to hold on to something. It is really tough to balance with this exercise. I think holding on to something and holding a dumbbell in only one hand is really useful. You can always just have a dumbbell that's twice as heavy rather than using two lighter dumbbells. My second tip is to take a stance wide enough that allows for a stride so that your knee doesn't bend too much more than 90 degrees and you're able to get deep enough into the split squat slash lunge movement so that your other knee doesn't hit the ground. And my third tip is to keep your body weight back on your glute. This will distribute the weight throughout your legs so that it doesn't too heavily recruit the quads. Doing it this way makes it quite even over the glutes and the quads. I showed the beginner version using just the flat ground and no elevation, but if you wanna make this a little bit more challenging, then of course you can add a bench to elevate your back foot, and this will just cause you to put more weight on the forward leg.
As I mentioned before, no leg workout is complete without a knee flexion exercise for the hamstrings. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I believe to be and what's supported in the research to be one of the most effective hamstring exercises because this one involves both hip extension and knee flexion. So that's both of the functions of the hamstrings. This might be one that you haven't seen before, but if you have, then I'll just give you a few of my tips here. I like to do it on the concept rower machine, um, but of course you don't have to do this. I'll show another variation later, or you can do it just with a towel on the floor like I showed in my home workout. But I like to use the gliding machine because it takes the balance out of the movement. It just moves along this track. So what I'm doing is scooting my bum right up to the machine, pressing up, squeezing my glutes to get my hips fully extended with my weight on my shoulders and on my arms with my elbows pushing down, but I'm using my hamstrings and my glutes to keep my hips elevated throughout. And then I'm going to curl the weight in with my heels. This part is really difficult. It's such a burn on the hamstrings. Like honestly, like you just have to try not to have your hamstrings seize up. And then once you've pulled the seat in as far as possible, then you wanna glide slowly outwards. And this is just as difficult. And you're gonna try to control the seat back as slowly as possible. I'm also showing a variation here with the Swiss ball. This is perfectly fine as well. This is actually how I learned this exercise and I adapted it to the concept rower. But the only thing is that you have to focus a lot more on balance and sometimes that just gets in the way. I'd rather just really focus on the hamstrings, but definitely give this one a try. It is very challenging and it works just as well. All right guys, those are my top five basic leg and glute exercises that I think everyone should know and incorporate into their routines. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.